Ariados, we're going to tap a bit different. I want a 5 miles per hour, so I can see. We're just doing 10 minutes. Eh, you know, just be close to Mars, so I'm working on that. But she thinks that when I start talking, she can do it. So, as you guys saw in the last video. Okay, enough. No. So, I don't want to get the home with barking, so. So basically, I missed the time. Oh no, it's coming in. So Pickles is outside. Uh, Jack is almost done with her little wrap up. Nine minutes. The girl. I try to give him always dropping stuff, girl. You gotta wait till I get it. The girl. So, you need to make that thing a bit bigger for you, huh? I saw last week she was fine in it, but this week it's like she grew. Oh. Like twice the size, not really. Good. Anyway, the Pegasus is outside, so there's gonna be a bit of a, a weird transition. Instead of making Jack stop and letting them both out at the same time, uh, since I had to get crates inside and put her in, and put him in this crate to dry his feet off, um, I'm gonna put Jack inside so he can possibly get a drink of water, bring crates inside, then bring her out here to play. So I will stop the video between there, um, but that is the plan. I have not been paying attention to the time on me, I'm sorry. So I'm ready. This one's good, as you guys can see, she's at the front of the thing. Um, you know, it's my athletic baby girl. Ten minutes. Oh, good girl. Is she tired enough? Uh, probably not. Jack is a little energized about me, but we'll put the e-collar and we'll swap it out for, for Jack. Sit. Good girl. Alright you guys, uh, see you guys in a second. Jack set. Okay. Oh, I totally did not swap the thing out. Hey, Jack, gentle. Right, we are not going outside. Luckily enough, Jack's response really well with verbal, so I should be okay without the e-collar on her. But, um, hey, gentle. Jack. I'm trying to keep her from grabbing and shaking. Hey, gentle. Like, because Kratos will, dra will grab, and he will drag some, as you guys saw, but generally he won't shake his head, right? Like, generally speaking, I have yet to see him do that. And Jack tends to want to do that. Hey, gentle girl. Oh, sorry, I'm not paying attention to the video. I do want to mention that it is so much brighter inside the room than it is in the um, video, so. Some more, I'll look at the snacks. Hey! Jack, if she's ignoring you, you ignore her. Oh, you dog. That is actually Jack's biggest issue, playing with a dog when they don't want to play with. I'm not that Curtis is perfect at it either. Um, but Jack as a older and also smaller dog, she just should mature quicker. So I just have slightly larger expectations for her. Because Kratos, I know he's not gonna really mature until he's 18 months. Jack really should be, be approaching that maturity level. So and she's a mutt, so it makes things harder, but... Yeah. Hey! Gentle. I'm 
Oh, sorry, I'm still not paying attention to the video. Okay, ah, ah, ah. Bring her some space. She's tired from Kratos. Just her knocking her head, which is good. Uh, we're trying to use her head as like a little a weight, I guess. I don't know what she's trying to do. You know, dogs play with their teeth, but. Let's see, not necessarily, definitely still high energy, but at least that's just good right there. There was no teeth involved, even though they were there. because whatever it is she wants okay if she had ran away I was gonna definitely stop it but apparently she's going to running jump a uh, running start hey Jack that was clearly a stop it yeah we dropped a couple kibbles well there's actually one over there she just gotta find it so Samara has probably the second best nose in the house. Only second best because she doesn't really know how to use hers yet. And Kratos does. He's older. But she smells smells a little snack that was left around. And so she went to go get it. That's a good girl. I should let, I, don't ruin it because I said good girl. Basically, if Samara's not interested, Jack should not be interested. And that doesn't always work that way, even in like dog parks and stuff, but that's how we want it to work for right now. I, I, leave her alone. So my storage ran out, which is why I was seeing this cut. Um, I did let them play, not the full 15 minutes like I did with Kratos and Samara, because Samara was just already tired from playing with Kratos. Um, so I did end up stopping it probably like 5 minutes after the video ended. Um, and then that run, that's when it was time for them to eat anyway, so I let them use the bathroom, fed them. Uh, well, actually I let them rest for a minute before I fed them. But I did let them use the bathroom bit of a break, fed them, bath them again, and then they're here now. Um, I mean, it's 10 o'clock now, so it's, it's quite a bit of time uh, from when the video ended, but, um, yeah, so that's basically it. I did want to get a, give a bit of an update on Samara. So she peed in her bed. So she had a bath last Saturday, um, be somewhere between Saturday and Sunday morning. I'm, I'm leaning towards, no, not Sunday morning. Maybe I just go snoring. Oh, jeez. It's cute, though. It's Samara, by the way. Um, I know I don't think it was Saturday. I, I think it was between Sunday and Monday. She peed in her bed that I had just washed on Saturday as well. So I took that from her, and she hasn't really had her bed all week. Or she hasn't, she hasn't had her bed all week. Like, not really, like. Say really like I've given it to her that she has not had her bed or anything soft to lay on all week and she's had no accidents which I am that's good stuff um I'm still gonna wait till Saturday to give her her blanket to give her her bed she's almost outgrowing it anyway um you yeah, see this is this bed's like quite a bit bigger than her bed that I put in her, her pen and she's you know filling this bed up quite nicely so she can still grow a lot more in it but but yeah and this is also something she's gonna only get as a puppy 
unless she's going to be like this. And this, I am going to throw this away, but the dogs have been enjoying laying on it. So, I also have the heater. The heater going. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can't actually see my angle on my phone. But yeah, so all three of these babies are here. And Paco's cuddled up next to me. Enjoying being the oldest. Okay, anyway guys, so that's, there's a status update. So Samara's doing really well. Her feet are looking a lot better. They tend to look much better when she doesn't have a lot a day of activity. Um, she's still, I and mean, she's still growing. Her, her, um, both legs are a lot better, but they're not entirely, they're not like 100% great yet. So, but, you know, first thing in the morning, after she's had a really good rest, um, her feet look amazing. She runs pretty much amazing. It's just after she has, like, she's played, or after she's had a lot of activity where she, um, That's Samara's. Samara snoring in her seat, uh, started coughing. Um, excuse you. Um, it scared you guys. Aww. And Samara's also, well, I don't know if you guys can see from this angle, but she also woke herself up. Okay. This is when we'll check out the noise. It's going the wrong direction. Anyway, um, yeah, so tomorrow's doing good. Her bow are doing good every day. Um, we will be doing socialization. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I There's a lot of things I need to do. I just got to figure out in the order of which I need to do it. Because technically, I really need to... Uh, one of the things that I want to do with Kratos and Samara is scent work and agility and things like that. And get them AKC registered. Um, not necessarily, unfortunately, but the thing with that is that they have to be... When you do training with them like that and when you actually like take them to do that kind of work for like the title they have to be on a flat collar right so no no slip leash just a regular fat flat collar and Kratos is nowhere near that so I kind of need to work a lot with him and the um the prong collar and just so that he can start getting used to corrections and knowing what he can and can't do because it's going to take him a while like I need to do the same thing with, with, with Jack, but the thing is, is Jack's going to learn quicker. Um, just the way she is, she's she's very responsive to verbal cues and whatever and what I want. Kratos, that little fat boy right there, or fat head boy, he's not really fat. Fat head boy right there, this little boy is stubborn. He likes to do what he wants to do, and he likes to attempt to do what he wants to do all the time. So it's going to take a little bit more uh, going down and about and getting corrected for him to learn. And then from the prong collar, we'll go to the slip lead. From the slip lead, we'll go to the flat buckle collar, but he has a long way to get there. Um, and he's the dog that I want to get certified in that. I mean, him and, Kri and Samara, but Samara's got a long way to get to there. So I need to do a lot of work with him. Um, so I need to take him out a lot more, therefore. I don't think he's ready for it, technically. I kind of want to wait till he's mature, a little bit mature to do anything like that, because he's, he's still, he's still, he's literally a giant puppy. So, um, but that's just kind of things in the future. So I got to figure out how I'm going to make sure I kind of get enough training for him, get him out and about enough, but also make sure the other dogs get out. Um, so I can't take them all out together yet. Uh, maybe I will probably be able to do with Samara, but um, Samara's not vaccinated yet, so she can't walk. And I really don't want to do like a cart and, and walk the dogs because I do need to focus on correcting them and everything. And Samara likes to jump up. Likes to try to jump out the, the cart and it's a big mess, so. Anyway, y'all, um, excuse you. But she's all in the way of the shot. Anyway, y'all, this video is long enough, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.